Hello, and welcome to another episode of our How To series. In this episode, we'll take you through how to install the Surveillance Station app onto your Synology NAS, and then take you through the process of adding an IP camera to the Surveillance Station software. We're using a Milesight camera purely as an example and to prove that they are compatible with Synology devices, but don't worry if you have cameras from another manufacturer like Hikevision, Axis, or WiseNet, as any OnVIF compliant IP camera should be compatible with Synology software. One final thing before we proceed, please make sure the camera is connected to your network before starting this step-by-step -step guide. If the camera's IP address isn't on your network, then you can follow one of our previous videos or forum posts and assign the camera an IP address that is on your network. If your camera has DHCP enabled, then you shouldn't have to do anything as the camera should automatically assign itself an address on your network. Now we can get started by logging into your Synology NAS. For this video we are going to assume you have just set up your NAS or have a pre-existing NAS that you are using for just everyday file and media storage. Once logged in, you are going to want to click on the package center icon. A window will open displaying all the apps you can install on your NAS. You are looking for the surveillance station app, which you should find on the package center homepage. If it is not there, then you can use the search bar to find it. After finding and installing Surveillance Station, you can close the Package Center window and then open the main menu in the top left of the Synology window, where you can find and open the new Surveillance Station app. A new browser tab will open with a new selection of icons. The first thing you want to do is click the IP Camera icon. A window will open with several buttons along the top. Of these buttons, you will want to click the Add button and select Add Camera from the drop down. Another window will now open. This is the wizard for adding a camera. The first option you have is Quick Setup or Custom Setup. We recommend just sticking with Quick Setup. After you've made your choice, click the Next button. You will then be taken to a page with many empty boxes with labels like Camera Name, IP Address, Port, Username, etc. Now you can either enter the camera's details manually or you can click the Search button next to the IP Address box. Another window will open with two tabs labelled Synology Supported Cameras and OMVIF. Both of these tabs will show you lists of the cameras that your Synology device can find on your network. We advise checking both lists as some cameras may not be directly supported by Synology, but if the camera you are adding is OMVIF compliant, it should appear in the OMVIF list. If your camera appears on one of these lists, you can click on it and then click OK. You will be taken back to the previous page and the boxes that were empty will now be filled with the information of the camera you've just selected. Before moving to the next step, make sure the username and password box have been filled with either the default or the username and password you have set. Also, if it is an OMVIF camera, it may have been given a default name like Network Camera. If you are going to have multiple cameras on your NAS, we would advise giving the camera a more recognisable name like the location of the camera, e.g. backdoor, driveway, etc. or the model number of the camera. Once all the details are rented correctly, you can click the Test Connection button. If the test is successful, you can click Finish and the camera will be added to the Surveillance Station live feed. If the test is not successful, you will have to go back and check the camera's settings that are correct. The most common problem is that the camera has an IP address that is not on your network. After you have followed our instructions from a previous video or forum post on how to change the IP address, you should get a successful connection and be able to add the camera. With the camera successfully added, you can simply click the Live View icon on the left of the screen and you will be taken to the Live View of the camera. In the next Synology How To video, we will take you through some of the other settings you can adjust using Surveillance Station as well as showing you how to set the camera to start recording. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking the Use IP logo. Check the description below for links to our webshop, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.